and thank you so much for clicking on the video. Recently, we had some family in town who stayed at the Hilton Grand Vacations on Las Vegas Boulevard. And so we thought we'd do a quick video for you to show you what it's like and what you can expect if you're planning a trip here. Here we are utilizing the valet parking, which turned out to be $30 a day, and we didn't realize that. So just be aware, valet parking is $30 a day. Regular parking is $18 per day. This is a very beautiful hotel. Um, and as far as the amenities, there is no casino in this hotel. And there's not really a restaurant. There is a main bar in the lobby area. And then downstairs, they have a convenience store and a place where you can actually rent DVDs. They also have a fitness center and a pool complex, which we will show you in a little bit, and a basketball court. Hilton Grand Vacations is a timeshare property, um, so the prices are going to vary depending on if you rent it as just a regular hotel room or if you're getting a discounted rate because you're going to listen to the timeshare presentation. Uh, this was a timeshare presentation room and they did upgrade to the one bedroom king bed suite. Here is a look at the bathroom. They have some nice finishes, nice countertop, uh, single sink, stand-up shower. And then right in between the bathroom and the bedroom is a large soaking tub. And right across from that is the closet. And then you have your king size bed and side tables, remote control, some outlets on the lamp, very nicely furnished. And then a nice big dresser and a TV mounted on the wall across from the bed. This particular room came with a full kitchen, a banquette, a living room, and a pretty good view. The windows could definitely use a good washing, but right across is the fountain blue. Back there is the Sphere, the Wynn, Las Vegas Boulevard. And then over to the left is um, the Sahara. You just can't see it. In the living area, you have another dresser to store things, a DVD player. This is actually a smart TV, so you can log into your apps and watch your favorite shows or movies. This sofa also pulls out into a queen size bed. In the entryway, there's a table, a mirror, a lamp, some stools, and let's go ahead and take a look at the kitchen. Dishwasher. Yeah. What do you got? Paper towels down here. You got dishwashing pods, a fire extinguisher. You got silverware. Pencils. That one doesn't open. These don't open. Okay, so you got pots and pans down there. Can't really open it, but got a full oven. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Butcher block. Yeah, you want to get ice. You even got wine glasses, Mom. Got a full fridge and freezer. There you go. Put all your stuff. Then, a unit washer and dryer. Very cool. And a coffee maker. Can't forget the coffee maker and microwave. Next, we are going to go check out the pool area. They have towels, which is nice. The whole pool complex was very shaded, very low key. Definitely not a party pool, but really nice if you want a relaxing day at the pool. It was a very different experience for a Vegas pool because it wasn't overcrowded. 
We checked in in the middle of the day and we were still able to find chairs and a place to sit. It was very relaxing. In the back of the property, there was a full basketball court, which is pretty unique for a Las Vegas hotel and pretty cool. No loud music playing, just a very low key vibe. I'll let you take a listen. They did of course have a full bar with pretty good selection. We'll link the menu down below. And then across from the bar was a little walkway which led to a seating area with a TV, a fire pit, just looked like a really nice place to hang out. I hope this video helped if you're planning a trip to the Hilton Grand Vacation. It was definitely a nice property and really good for families. Thank you so much for watching and we hope you have a fabulous day.